Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Josh Jackson. He's with the University of Kentucky as an ag engineer there. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Joanna. Well, I think you're working on a really neat project that I think is very needed in our agriculture community and that's a maintenance log. Yep, and so I'm just working on a simple maintenance log so hopefully it can be used by a lot of producers throughout the state because you know it's about that time of year where you're working on your equipment getting ready for the upcoming, you know, spring and su uh, upcoming summer of, you know, you're harvesting your crop, planting your crop. So maintenance is the thing to think about right now. So why not have a, a good maintenance log? So, you know, really, you know, some of everything else in precision ag, we need to be thinking about each individual piece of equipment, each individual level of, of what's taking place on our farm. And so really identifying where potential issues can be. So like you were saying, End of the year, we're looking at a tax, you know, we look at the our repair and maintenance that we, we've done in our, in our tax sheet and we go on potentially. And so, but we really need to think about which piece of equipment is costing the most. And is that one potentially one we need to think about for replacing? Absolutely. And some of those decisions with um, being able to get the, the machinery needs to be made at, at an earlier date. So the more information that we have, the better we can be prepared. Yeah, and, and maintenance, you know, maintenance, proper maintenance on equipment, you know, they can save us potentially 25% because we're, we're not degrading our equipment. We're not going to be hopefully pushing it as hard, you know, to compensate. And so really maintenance is an important aspect. It helps keep our system safe. So we're making sure we keep our air filter clean, our, um, our air, air filter change the appropriate interval, same with the oil and fuel filters. That protects our engine, that protects our system. So making sure those are conducted in a timely manner not, you know, we're not too early because it costs money in a timely manner can really be efficient, help us improve our efficiency. So I wanted to make it as dynamic as possible. So I, in one in one aspect, I have an inventory sheet where you just list out everything you have. And then from that inventory sheet, we actually goes to our other maintenance log sheet or maintenance sheet. And we're able to select, you know, from that drop down list of what we entered for the inventory, exactly the equipment and what, what took place. And then actually filter by category. So that's another aspect is just looking at, you know, it gives you a, a pie chart breakdown of over the year, what took the most, required the most capital, most money to repair. Yeah, and I think the, the way you have it is nice and it's visual. For me, sometimes the numbers um, can get overwhelming, but looking at a chart, you can really see what area, and I know you have them categorized as well. Yeah, so it, it's categorized. So if we're looking at our hay, hay forage equipment, we're looking at our uh, tractors, so, you know, different size tractors. And so each one is going to be in a dynamic. So we can change the text and it'll automatically update and, and, and the selection. So we want to break it down by categories. We can break it down by categories. We can break it down by year to really get into that data and see what really has to be changed. And it's relatively easy to do. It's in an Excel type spreadsheet because I know yep. that some farmers might be thinking, oh, one more <laughs> thing to keep record of, right? right? But the benefits, I think, probably outweigh the time it would but, take to enter it. And so, you know, like if you can get, you know, for your Microsoft 365, so I have a personal account, you can, I can enter it on my phone as well. So I have the Excel sheet on my phone, I can have the Excel sheet on my computer, and it automatically updates either way. So, you know, some of it, if you have that capability, you do have the ability to do it on the fly, wherever you may be. And so there, there are powerful aspects to it as well. Absolutely. Now, if a producer is watching and they say, you know, I'd like to try this out, oh, where, yes. where could they find this Excel it, spreadsheet? It's on my, it's, so you go to the BAE website, so the Biosystem and Agriculture Engineering website, so UK, University of Kentucky Biosystem and Agriculture Engineering website. And so under my page, under my page, it'll be listed as one of the decision aids. Under my and so you can take it and play with it. And if you have any questions, you can contact me. My email is just Josh Jackson, no dollar period, at uky.edu. But a free tool for them to use. All right. Well, certainly appreciate all the efforts and thank you for visiting with us today and sharing this information. If you have questions, you can always contact your local extension office and we can get you Dr. Jackson's information and get you the link to the spreadsheet. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show and hope you have a great day.